Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Mike Palmer. He is the CEO at Sigma Computing. Mike, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So, Mike, talk to me about the company and its growth in this environment. Well, it has been a tough environment. For us, it's been pretty good, but um, I will say that, like so many companies, it's a, it depends you know, what the customer demand is. We're coming from an environment where we've had a massive migration of public cloud companies. That's been followed on by another massive migration into some of the more popular data warehouses. Uh, and that's created demand for the layers right above them. That's where Sigma sits. So we see enterprises looking at opportunities around data, around employee enablement and empowerment, around data collaboration outside their companies. Uh, so for us, you know, the market has really kind of moved in our direction and, and we still see a lot of opportunity in front of us. So now tell me, what's happening as more companies shift to cloud data warehouses and what new challenges and opportunities are being unearthed? Well, let's start with the opportunities. Uh, it's the first time for many enterprises where they're seeing all of their data in one place. Uh, and that's creating a whole bunch of uh, sort of novel uses of that data, whether that is better perspective for their teams, whether it is new types of automation or workflows they can build on top of that. And so they're just at the beginning of really exploring what's possible now. Uh, the challenges, though, are coming right along with that. I often describe them as the four S's. Uh, scope, all of a sudden we're seeing a data scope that we've never done before. Departments, even outside of our company, we're able to purchase data and leverage that. That's generating challenges around size. Uh, companies have gone from millions of records to hundreds of billions of records, and old products and technology just don't support that sort of scale and size. There's skills. We have people with highly technical skills. We have fancy terms like Python, but most of us still work in spreadsheets. Uh, and then security, because we've gotten around a lot of these problems by extracting data from these data sources and then giving them to people, uh, these data sets, onto their laptops, and we've lost track of them. Uh, so we've got a lot of challenge to address and a lot of opportunity to do it. Now, Mike, why are we seeing an emerging trend of shifting from best of breed solutions to end-to-end -end platforms? So this is coming right alongside the data scope. Uh, when I can see more data as an enterprise owner, I want to take advantage of that data. When I have bought a best of breed software, I've basically bought a full stack application. It's got a limited schema. It's got a limited set of workflows and typically has a limited deployment at my company. And so we have 20, 25, 30 standalone applications used by departmental users that cost me a lot of money. Uh, they're typically not integrated. I don't get access to all the underlying data. I just get access to that application data. And the shift is now going to be to take advantage of all of the underlying data. So we're going to see a movement from a bunch of standalone applications to platforms that are far more extensible, that I can build automation on, that my whole company can use, as opposed to just a singular department. All right, and finally, Mike, as a result, the concept of durable, long-term growth for tech companies has become a focus. Now tell me, how does Sigma see their platform supporting that model? And I think this again follows uh, right along the adoption cycle that we were just talking about. If we have a product that can land in a department or two, but is extensible to new workflows, uh, allows visibility into different data sets for new users, you have a growth path. As a supplier, that means that uh, we can sell licenses into different departments. We're also part of their new product builds as they share data outside of their companies. Those are the sort of growth paths that platform companies can have. Uh, if you're sitting in a standalone application in a best of breed situation, that department's pretty much the end of the game for you, and that's very difficult from a long-term growth perspective. Uh, so we like our chances to be one of those companies, as they say, that can grow and grow and grow, uh, but mostly because we're adding more and more and more value to companies. All right, well, Mike, fantastic to have you on the show. Thanks for joining me today on Floor Talk. Thank you for having me.